Yeah, how's it going everyone? Maryland here! And it's time for more of the Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough, and as you saw there, it's calling. That's right, the slumbering wield is calling for us. We need to go back. But first... Congratulations, champion! Here, I've got a little something for you as celebration. A Master Ball! Sweet! Professor Magnolia, why, you didn't have to come all this way. After everything Maryland has achieved, it's really the least I could do. The wishing stars that make Dynamaxing possible are parts of Eternatus. And when Eternatus was awakened, Dynamax energy flooded the entire region. Because of that, Dynamax Pokémon were popping up all over, causing trouble across all of Galar. But Maryland and his friends came to our rescue. The Dynamax phenomenon has long been an important part of Galarian culture. I hope everyone will use the power of Dynamaxing correctly in the days to come. So, young Maryland, please do what you believe is best. Well, thanks. Yeah, the Master Ball, it will catch any Pokémon without fail. But, well, I mean, it won't catch Trainer's Pokémon, obviously. But you will probably only be getting one in your game. Probably, unless you can get really lucky with the Roto or the Lotto ID thingy. Uh, poor Professor Magnolia. It seems she's quite bothered by the chairman's actions, and she helped carry out so much of the researching and a dynamaxing for him. That's gotta stink. Alright, let's get out of here. Good to see you again, Mom. Now I need to get going. Life of a champion, you know. Okay, so, yeah, at this point, you're kind of free to do a lot more exploring, a lot more opens up in the region. In fact, it even says, adventure to your heart's content. The Galar region is yours to explore. And at this point, there is a new weather condition that can appear. It's like fog. I don't think I have any thick fog right now, but that is something that will start appearing. One thing to note, I will probably have a video going over just like the little details, but something important to note right now is when you go to the wild area, now all the Pokemon in the wild will be at least level 60. Everything. And on top of that, you'll get, what is it, I think 300 watts when you examine an inactive, like, beam thing, the where you summon a, or where the, the wishing pieces go. Or 2,000 if there is a beam emanating from them. So you get a lot more watts. It's very, very nice. I'm not going to show that right now. We already kind of covered the wild area. That's really the main thing that's changed there. But yeah, it's definitely worth checking out. You can get some really cool Pokemon at high levels now. Like, there's such a wide variety there. There's also a bunch of other places that, you know, had said, Oh, hey, come back after you're the champion or something like that. You can check those out. I'll do that later. But there is kind of a post-game plot arc, and that's... Well, the reward in the end is getting your very own Zamazenta if you're playing Pokémon Shield, or Zacian if you're playing Pokémon Sword. So it all begins by where it actually all began, the Slumbering Wield. So we're gonna go back to the Slumbering Wield and see what's up. All right, so here we are, all the way back at this cool little shrine thing. Huh? Marilyn, what are you doing here in the woods? But what about you? Nobody ever comes in here, since this is the forest where Zashin and Zamazenta rested. It's the best place to do a bit of thinking, since it's so quiet and all. You say you felt like something was calling you here, Marilyn. That's... Mate, that's pretty uncanny. Oh, but I hadn't had the chance to tell you. Congrats on your victory, Maryland. Honestly, Maryland, I never thought you'd manage to beat my brother. The greatest champion Galar ever had. He was undefeatable till you came around. It's actually still pretty hard to believe. Really, you're amazing, Maryland. So amazing, maybe, that I don't even realize just how amazing you really are. I know, I know. Y you can keep the compliments coming. Maryland, do you think... Would you be up for one more battle? Sure. Thanks, Maryland. Then show me the strength that defeated Lee, the greatest champion we've ever had. I'm ready when you are, so just say the word. 
All right, well, you know what? If you're gonna lead with that silly double again, <laughs> I hate that thing. I'm gonna lead with my Surfetched. That'll show you. This will be a serious battle. You're ready for that, aren't you? Of course. This is it. And we get his classic music. So yeah, there's his dub wool. <laughs> this thing. Okay. I don't know why I have such a disdain towards this thing. Oh no, now I know exactly why. Uh, all it does is just be annoying. Raising its defense three stages. Hopefully I can get a critical hit. That'll get around it. Um, it's faster than me, so I'm gonna use Revenge. Ow! There we go. Didn't even get my critical hit. Okay, Corviknight. Yeah, I'm familiar with that thing. Thankfully, now I have two answers. I actually do have Discharge now. Um, yeah, you know what? I think I'll go ahead and do that. All right, Art Dissolt. <laughs> Too nervous to eat berries. Honestly, my Arc Dissault looks pretty nervous right now. Okay. Increase your defense with Steel Wing. It's not really too much of a problem right now. Oh, that didn't do very much. But you know what? That paralysis will really help. Now I get to outspeed it and take it down before it can land another blow against me. All right, next up is a new addition to his team, I think. It's Snorlax. So, uh, yeah. Another normal-type Pokémon. Well, looks like another job for Surfetched. Actually, wait. I think he had Snorlax before. My bad. I'm misremembering. I think he added something, though. I can't remember what. Oh well, whatever the case. Let's take this thing out of here. Oh, okay. Use a full restore. Fine. I see how it is. <laughs> okay, there we go. Wow, usually you get a lot of crits, sir, fetched. Unfortunately, you're not getting any right now. It's kind of part of your gimmick. Okay, Cramorant. Uh, that thing. I remember that thing. Ugh. All right, Artizel. We have several options here. I think I'll freeze dry it. <laughs> Look at all these super effective moves. Uh, actually, we'll discharge. Okay, you're gonna dive. Well then. <laughs> As a fish. Oh man, it's always so funny seeing seeing that. Whenever it uses surf or dive, it'll pick up a fish. And then it spits it out at you if you hit it. Uh, well, okay, it doesn't always pick up a fish. Every now and then it might have a different surprise. Okay, there's Rillaboom. Let's go ahead and send out my Cinderace. Pyro Ball. Whoa. 
Yeah, he shouldn't be that tough. I mean, you just beat his brother, and he is the champion. But he did get a little bit tougher from last time, which is good. Okay, pin Kirchin. Electric type. Just send out Rune Regis and be done with it. Here we go. Ta-da! I didn't expect there to be such a gap between you and me, mate. Uh, yeah, well, you know. You know how it goes. So there really is no way I could ever beat you. I mean, you even beat my unbeatable brother. And if it isn't the two of you again, I was wondering what all the noise was about. And if it isn't Sonia. Marilyn, congratulations on beating Leon. It was nothing. Oh, trying to act modest, are you? Go on, you've earned the right to be proud. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be off assisting the professor? Hop, I'm actually not working as my grand's assistant any longer. In fact, I'm the professor now. Y you are? And really, I've got the two of you to thank for that. I was just along for the ride on your adventure, but I ended up taking a real interest in the history of the Galar region. And I came here to care for Pokemon even more than I ever had before. Ah, here, it's a book I wrote. I even signed it. That makes it a collector's item. A copy of Sonya's book. Well, thanks. Uh-huh. I've already got my own copy. Lined up to buy it on the day it came out. Aw, oh, thanks, Hop. That's so sweet. I'll sign your copy for you later. Anyway, I've got my grand's blessing and put out my first book under my own name. I think you can expect great things of the lovely Professor Sonia in the future, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I expect so. Sonia and Maryland, you both amaze me. Got a lot to live up to here. So, what are you young'uns doing here? Er, oh, right. Oh, that's it, isn't it? You were putting the rusted sword and the rusted shield back in their place. Can't just keep on holding on to them forever, right? We were, yeah, that's what we were doing. We were just about to do that. You forgot entirely, didn't you? What, you think the two of you are besties now with Zashian and Zamazenta or something? That must be it, Marilyn. Why, you felt like you were called here. Let's put the sword and the shield back and say a proper thanks for all the help. Maybe if we do, we'll get to see Zashin and Zamazenta again someday. Sounds like a good idea. Return the rusted sword? Yeah, sure. Zashian, Zamazenta! Thanks loads for helping us out. Took us a little while, but we brought back your precious relics and all. You and Hop return the rusted sword and rusted shield. Alright, that about settles that. Marilyn, why don't you and I head back? What are you going to do, Sonia? I think I'll stay here a bit longer. I want to do a little more research here in the forest. Hmm, my power spot detector is going off. Well, well, well. I thought I heard someone making some noise over this way. Well, well, well. You wouldn't be the Professor Sonia who wrote the book Galar, A History. Er, uh, hello, you bought my book? Why, yes, of course. Read it from cover to cover. Why, yes, of course. I even wrote an internet review for it. That awful book was filled with lies, so we gave it one star. What? There are no lies printed in that book. That's just plain rude. I am Swordwood. I am Shieldbert. We are the new kings of Galar. We're descendants of the first kings. More than that, we're celebrities. New kings, descendants, seriously, what are you on about? What exactly are you two supposed to be? Well, well, well. Could these things here be the fabled sword and shield? Well, well, well. They certainly are dirty. They must be fake. I fear to touch them with my bare hands. Swordward took the rusted sword. Shieldbert took the rusted shield. Hey, don't go nicking those. We just returned them. Oh, do shut up. We only happened to pick up some things that were dropped on the ground. 
If you've got a problem with it, how about you prove to whom they belong? Hmm? But there's no way anyone can prove who those ancient things belong to. Even if we can't prove it, they're really important to Zashin and Zamazenta. Oh goodness, such a plebeian, and yet so pushy. If it's really so important to you, perhaps we should settle this with a battle. We're celebrities who buy battles for twice what they're worth. What does that even mean? I, the Magnificent Swordwood, am your opponent. Yeah, you have to fight against Swordward if you're playing Pokemon Sword, and you'll fight Shieldbert if you're playing Pokemon Shield. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, anyway, we got a Surfetched here. Little Surfetched party going on. Oh, and I don't even get healed. That's a shame. I think that's the least they could do, right? Meteor Assault? Okay. <laughs> now that's just silly. Uh, Alright, that's fine. If that's how you want to play, sure, we'll play that game. And you're gonna regret it. Okay, next up, Bisharp. Oh, which would have been great if I, you know, still had my Surfetch. That's fine. Cinderace should be fine here. Okay, yeah, this thing, Dark Steel type. Shouldn't be too bad. Um, I think I'm gonna go for Pyro Ball just in case it has Defiant. Should be very bad if I hit it with low sweep. And Pyroball should do enough to take it out. Yep, there we go. Court change. So that is Cinderace's signature move, or one of its signature moves. And. The description's kind of weird. <laughs> With its mysterious power, the user swaps the effects on either side of the field. That can be very powerful. I know it's often used to switch things like stealth rocks or spikes around. I know it has other effects too, um, but it's a very good move for competitive battles. So I don't need it for this though, but don't discount that. Oh, Galisopod, huh? Hmm. Uh, yeah, how do I want to handle that thing? Be great if Arctazolt were healed. Unfortunately, it's not. I guess I could... Well, I'll use Roserade here. Yeah, so get ready for a lot of these two in this post-game arc. It's... Kind of annoying, if you ask me. I I generally like Sword and Shield, but the first time I played this, I was very disappointed. Like, this part, this post-game part of the game. These two are just awful. Like, they're so uninspired. Swordward and Shieldbird. Like, not only do they look really silly, like, really silly. I mean, look at this guy's hair. Like, what? But like, I don't know, they're just, they're not good. They just aren't, I'm sorry. But yeah, um, anyway, you do need to fight them several times. Which one you fight is based on which game you're playing. They have more or less similar teams. But yeah, they're a bit of a pain. And you'll see why in a little bit. Okay, but anyway, there's Swordward out of the way. Or actually, no, that you saw is the Goliathod. Whoops. So that thing can use first impression, right? Do I have anything? Ooh. <laughs> this gives me an idea. It won't be able to do anything to me without getting hit by the Rocky Helmet. Hmph, that's enough faffing about. I suppose it's time to get serious. Yeah, I'd like to see you try. 
A liquidation. This might hurt, actually. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait! Uh, well, that, that worked. That worked! I'll take it. I'll take it. I was kind of worried I was going to peace out. Oh, how can this be? My, my Pokemon! If you're playing Pokemon Shield, you'll be facing off against Shieldbert instead. Pokemon Trainer Shieldbert. So he too leads with a Surfetched. Again, fighting type Pokemon. High attack. Gotta watch out for it. He also has Phalanx, level 60, also a fighting type. He's got Kling Clang over here, steel type, has a variety of moves. Tch, no more warm-ups, it's time to beat you hollow. And he's got Bronzong. Oh yeah, steel psychic type, a little on the tough side. After beating him though... Oh, how can this be? My, my Pokemon! You took back the rusted sword. To, to somehow have defeated the adorable Pokemon I go strolling with. You're certainly strong. However, it appears that my younger brother was victorious. Sorry, Marilyn. I lost to him. Oh, I'm so sorry for you. <laughs> Something on your mind, boy. You weren't concentrating at all during our battle. Older brother. Isn't that the one who stopped Eternatus? Oh ho! Now that I look closely, I believe it is. What a rude child snatching up our chance at glory like that. According to our sources, I believe he was also present during the destruction of the magnificent mural our ancestor so artfully created many years ago. What a garish brute! Destroying the mural, the mural our family has held in such high esteem for so long. Mural? You mean the one that hid the historical ruins of Zashin and the others? And hold on a moment, Marilyn wasn't the one who destroyed it. Let us withdraw for now. Next time we shall bring Pokemon that will utterly defeat you. That's right. And with that, farewell! W wait Stop! Get back the rusted shield! Hold on, Hop! Ugh, oh, that kid. He's gone and recklessly run off. At least you're calm, Marilyn. I expected as much. I'm surprised that Hop lost to someone like that. He looked upset about something during the battle. Maybe that had something to do with it. His own rival became the new champion, and his goal vanished right before his eyes. See, you get it. You know what's up. You can't help but wonder how he feels about it all. Anyway, Swordward and Shieldbird, was it? I think I might know something about where those two weirdos went. Shall we go over it at the lab in Wedgerst? Of course. <laughs> I'm not worried about Hop. <laughs> I bet I didn't even need to ask. Thanks. Okay, we'll meet up later then. I'll head back to the lab. Sounds good. Alright, well, anyway, there's still a lot more to do. But we're going to do that in the next episode. See you next time, everyone. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my YouTube channel, and turn on notifications to get updated. Be sure to check out my website for more Pokemon Sword and Shield coverage, including a full mobile-friendly Pokedex, a powerful team builder, and a written walkthrough. See you next time!